Welcome to our third compilation. In this part, part three, we will be going through uh, episodes 101 through 150. I hope you all are enjoying these. When we do get the quarter album completely finished, we'll be putting all the parts together in one giant compilation. Um, and also, when I get to part 200, I'll throw 150 to 200 together in part four. We're almost there, but I do have about 20 more episodes to film to get this to 200 so we can put out another compilation. So it might be a while before you see compilation part four. Unless you're watching this in the future and it's already out. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoy. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue <laughs> <Keep> coins. <laughs> All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Today on Quarter Album Phil, we have a 1991 Proof Deep Cameo Quarter to go in the album. Another one I picked up at the coin show, another beautiful coin. Here we go. Let's pop this in. And this is another spot filled with another beautiful proof. And if you haven't seen episode 100, do make sure you go watch that one. Got something special going on in that one. Do go check that out. But this one, another awesome spot filled with another nice proof. Today's quarter for the album is a 1970 proof. On some nice deep cameo. The surface is a little cloudy. Most likely from being in the flip for a while. Um, got some tones starting to form in places. Let's put this in the album and hopefully the tone will tone up nicely in here over the years. Down here at the bottom of the page, we got the spot for the proof. All right, there we go. Another nice spot filled. Another nice proof. Very, very cool. We got a few more proofs going in our album this week and some more fun stuff. Starting out with a 1984 proof, it has some nice little rainbowish color around the outside, some nice little tone there. And it is a very nice, nice coin. Let's put this in the album and fill another spot. Here we go. Let's drop this one in. And it is another nice spot filled in the album. Nice deep cameo coin with some. Very beautiful tones just around the outside. We have a nice BU quarter going in our album today. This is a very nice, high quality 1973. Lots of detail, very nice and shiny. And this is gonna fill a spot beautifully. Here we go. Let's drop that in and take a nice little look at it. It is a very nice, nice BU-73. How about that? Today we have a stunning coin that's going to upgrade our album. It is a 1945 in absolute beauty of a condition. This one is a San Francisco. That is a gorgeous coin right there. Nice and shiny blast white. Very BU, just a couple of, uh, looks like a rim marks over here, but otherwise, gorgeous coin. Let's put this in the album and upgrade the spot. Here's our worn 1945S. We're going to pop out of the album here, and then let's drop this one in and just upgrade that spot to a gorgeous coin. Wow. What an upgrade. What a coin. What a silver coin. Today's coin for the album, we have a beautiful proof from the last year of the Eagle Reverse. This one is a gorgeous, just deep cameo. I'm not seeing any real color on it, but what a beautiful, nice, high-grade coin this is. And it's going to fill a 
another spot in the album. Here is the spot, last page, down near the bottom, second to last coin that goes in this album that is dated. Very awesome fill. Got to get the silvers, but until I do, those are probably going to be some of the last coins I get. Beautiful coin for the album. Today's quarter for our quarter album is a 1953 silver quarter. This one does have some tone on the obverse, and it is a little circulated. Got some wear on it, has no mint mark, so it is from Philadelphia. This will definitely fill a spot until we get a nicer coin. Here we go, let's drop this quarter in the slot, and there we have it. Another silver quarter filling a spot. This one will need to be upgraded at some point, but we are filling spots with what we have, and it is next to a really nice toned 52 out of San Francisco. But that's another spot filled in the album. Very cool. Today's quarter for the quarter album. We have a 1950. This one has some nice fun tone on it. The reds and blues aren't quite showing up. They're, I'm only seeing the orange and brown in the camera. There is some nice little red and blue and green in there too. Um, this is a 1950 from Philadelphia. So we're going to fill the spot until we get a nicer quality coin to upgrade this. Here's the spot. I have used all my nice coins that I got from the coin shop and shows. So I'm going back to what I have here on hand. And a very nicely toned silver 1950, even though it's slick, it is still a very beautiful coin. We will upgrade that at some point. But for now, that is another nice spot filled with a nice silver coin. Today's coin, we're gonna do one more silver before the big giveaway winner is revealed in the next episode. This is a 1945, and it does have some slight red and blues in there, but this one is not showing up on camera. It is kind of half-toned on the obverse, 1945 out of Denver. We're gonna drop this in the spot to be a nice spot fill until we get an upgrade for this one as well. All right, let's drop that in the spot. And there we have it. One more silver coin filled in this album. Very, very nice and beautiful silver coin. It is time to check the current status of our quarter album. For episode 11, I have broken this down into several parts. We put them out over the week. So you can see all the quarters that are currently in the album. You can see the ones that need to be upgraded and the ones that already look awesome and will probably be in the album for a very long time. There are some great coins in here and still some holes that need to be filled. I want to take a second here and to thank everyone for watching the videos and supporting me and enjoying this quarter album fill. And any of the other videos and albums that I am working on. And please let me know which coin is your favorite in today's episode. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoy all the videos this week and I do hope each and every one of you has a great and wonderful day. It is time to check the current status of our quarter album. For episode 11 I have broken this down into several parts. We put them out over the week so you can see all the quarters that are currently in the album. You can see the ones that need to be upgraded and the ones that already look awesome and will probably be in the album for a very long time. There are some great coins in here and still some holes that need to be filled. I want to take a second here and to thank everyone for watching the videos and supporting me and enjoying this quarter album fill and any of the other videos and albums that I am working on. And please let me know which coin is your favorite in today's episode. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoy all the videos this week and I do hope each and every one of you has a great and wonderful day. It is time to check the current status of our quarter album. For episode 11 I have broken this down into several parts. We put them out over the week so you can see all the quarters that are currently in the album. You can see the ones that need to be upgraded and 
the ones that already look awesome and will probably be in the album for a very long time. There are some great coins in here and still some holes that need to be filled. I want to take a second here and to thank everyone for watching the videos and supporting me and enjoying this quarter album fill and any of the other videos and albums that I am working on. And please let me know which coin is your favorite in today's episode. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoy all the videos this week and I do hope each and every one of you has a great and wonderful day. It is time to check the current status of our quarter album. For episode 11 I have broken this down into several parts. We put them out over the week so you can see all the quarters that are currently in the album. You can see the ones that need to be upgraded and the ones that already look awesome and will probably be in the album for a very long time. There are some great coins in here and still some holes that need to be filled. I want to take a second here and to thank everyone for watching the videos and supporting me and enjoying this quarter album fill and any of the other videos and albums that I am working on. And please let me know which coin is your favorite in today's episode. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoy all the videos this week and I do hope each and every one of you has a great and wonderful day. It is time to check the current status of our quarter album. For episode 11 I have broken this down into several parts. We put them out over the week so you can see all the quarters that are currently in the album. You can see the ones that need to be upgraded and the ones that already look awesome and will probably be in the album for a very long time. There are some great coins in here and still some holes that need to be filled. I want to take a second here and to thank everyone for watching the videos and supporting me and enjoying this quarter album fill and any of the other videos and albums that I am working on. And please let me know which coin is your favorite in today's episode. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoy all the videos this week and I do hope each and every one of you has a great and wonderful day. It is time to check the current status of our quarter album. This is the final video of episode 11 where you can see all the quarters. Please let me know if you had a favorite for this episode and for all the others. These episodes did take a lot more time and effort than just adding a quarter and recording it. So I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoy all the videos this week. And I do hope each and every one of you has a great and wonderful day. It's time to put a quarter in a quarter album. But today I don't, I'm all out of the nice newer uh, quarters that I've picked up recently. So I'm going to go through this uh, roll of silver quarters here. I'm going to pick out some of these and we're going to do the silver quarters this week. And let's see. 1951. Out of Philly. These are going to fill spots until we get some nicer blinging quarters for the album. But you know, it's always great to fill a spot in the album. Here's the spot. We're going to drop this silver quarter in. And this will be a nice spot holder until we get a better one for this. It's always great to fill a spot and you can't go wrong with silver quarters. No matter how beat up they are, it's still silver. We will find a replacement for this at some point, but until then, that's one more spot filled. One more silver quarter in the album. All right, let's put another silver quarter in our album. Today we have a circulated 1944 out of Denver. Nice, it is another silver quarter. So that will fill our spot until we get a nice upgrade for it. All right, 1944 out of Denver. We'll pop that in there. And that is another silver quarter in the album. It's not as nice as a BU specimen, but it is still silver. Another spot filled. Very cool. We will find an upgrade for it at some point. Today's quarter for the album, we have a silver 1939 out of Denver. Cool. It is circulated, but it still has a little detail on the hair there. That's pretty nice. 
let's pop this in the spot. And here we go on the first page here. We're going to drop this in. And that is the first spot filled of a 1939 on the first page. So I got to get togethers, but that'll hold the spot for now. Day Silver Quarter, we're putting in a 1947 out of San Francisco. This one has a slight, some slight tone on it. It has some decent detail on the hair. Um, it has some dirty spots, some toned spots. It'll be a nice silver quarter to go on the album until we get a better one. Let's toss it in. All right, here's the spot. We're gonna drop that in. And there we have it, 1947 out of San Francisco. Another silver quarter for the album. It's coming along nicely. Today's quarter for the album. We've got another silver. This one is a 1938. It's a little rough. Um, has some okay detail on it there. It is from San Francisco. It is an earlier dated quarter. So let's put this in the album and fill another spot on the first page. All right, there's the spot. I'm going to drop this in. Nice early date quarter. Six years from the start of the Washingtons. First, first year Washington was 32. So the six years removed and in pretty nice shape. We will find a better one at some point but again we are filling the album with what i have and as i come across nice stuff we will be upgrading it's time to add another quarter to our quarter album today's quarter is the first year of clad 1956 it is a pretty nice clad quarter here camera's really picking up on all the little surface imperfections i can't see these with my eyes but this is a pretty nice 1965 Let's plug that in and fill another spot in this album. Well, look what we have here. We already have a 65 in here. Let's see, let's compare. This one has a lot more detail in the hair. I think I'm gonna upgrade just because of the more detail. Not that that one in there is bad, but I think this one's better. And there we have it. There's the old one, there's the new one. I think that is definitely a better upgrade. Definitely more detail in the hair and a much better corn all around, which makes our album that much better. Today's quarter in our quarter album, we are sticking with the clad and we're getting a 1983 out of Philly. This one is in pretty good shape. 82 and 83 are some of the hardest years to get nice coins from. The Mint State ones um, hold a little bit more premium. and They're a little harder to find because the US Mint did not create mint sets those years. So this is pretty nice. It will hold the spot until we can find that really, really nice one. Let's add this in and fill another spot in our album. All right, let's drop that in. And that's another spot filled. Really good, really nice. The album's coming along nice. The camera is picking up a lot more of the surface details and imperfections than I can see with my eye. But that is a pretty nice quarter to hold the spot. Next up, beautiful proof. So we got to find some nice upgrades for these 80s next to these beautiful proofs. We'll get it upgraded at some point. Time to add another quarter to our quarter album. And today's quarter is a 1994 out of Philly. This one is in quite nice shape. There's some a uh, few dings on the surface there, but it has very good quality details there. It'd probably be a lower mint state, maybe a 63-ish if I were to guess, but that is a very nice quarter to go on our album. And we are down here at the bottom of the second to last page in the book. Let's pop that in and fill another spot with another nice quarter. This album is filling up nicely. Do have a lot of holes back here to fill. And I'd rather fill the spots with what I have instead of leaving them open. But upgrading is definitely part of the fun. Let's put another quarter in our quarter album. And today we have a probably a half circulated 1971 out of Denver. I have had some hard time finding some nice 70s quarters and this is one of the nicer ones I have found for 71s so well, this is the nicest one I have found so I'm gonna plug it in for now but it'll definitely need to upgrade at some point but let's fill that spot. Here we go. Pop that in and there is another spot filled. Not the greatest but still pretty good for a 71 out of Denver. Let's see what we put in here next. It's time to put another quarter in the quarter album. 
we're going to do clad today and then tomorrow we'll get some silver in here again 1986 out of denver there we go that is a pretty nice one for an 86 i will find an upgrade for this again but i am filling the quarter album with what i have so let's fill a spot here we go we're down at the bottom of this page let's pop that in and that is another clad quarter for the album hopefully i'll find a good one soon but i've been having trouble finding some good clad ones whenever i find them i've been picking them up but that'll hold the spot for now all right i said we would do more silver quarters so i got my two circulated silver quarters that have holes that i need to fill in the album so let's grab one of these Ooh, it just all came out let's see i have a 1953 this one looks like it's been polished or cleaned up. 1953S. So we're going to fill the spot with the silver quarter. I mean, it's still 90% silver. You can't beat silver um, going in an album. All right, here we go. I wish the coin wasn't uh, shined up or cleaned or polished, but hey, it still counts as silver. And it still fills the spot till now. Um, I'll have to get a nice one like that one. Whew, that's a pretty one. That one is still a pretty silver quarter, though, <laughs> because silver is always beautiful to have. Uh, for another quarter and a quarter album, we're going to go silver again. I do have a circulated 1936, so this is going to go on the first page. This one is out of Philly. So that's going to fill another early date spot in this album. Let's add another silver quarter to our album. Here is the spot, and we're going to drop it in. The older these quarters are, the harder it is for me to find them in nice uncirculated condition. But I can't complain when you get a silver in the album. It is time to put another quarter in the quarter album. Today's quarter is a 1989 out of Denver. It has a little surface dirt, a little wear on it, but it's still in pretty nice shape. Some dings and scratches, but overall, a pretty nice coin that will fill a spot. The reverse does look better than the obverse, except for the dirt on the surfaces. This will fill a spot nicely until we get a nice, more pristine quarter to put in the album. Here we go, 1999 out of Denver. I'm gonna fill a spot right there in the album. Nice, very nice. That'll hold a good spot until we get it filled with a better coin. It is time to add another quarter to the quarter album. Today's coin is a 1971 out of Denver. It does have some details, but it does have a lot of surface scratches and dings on it. Um, it is a circulated quarter, but it is a pretty nice one with some good details. So this will fill the spot until we get a more pristine example. Always nice to fill a spot in the album, and it's always great to find that upgrade. Let's plop this in there and fill another spot. All right, here we go. Plop that in, and we have another spot filled. Not a bad coin. Other than the surface scratches and dings, that would be a pretty nice one. That'll be a good spot fill until we find a better one. Very cool. Filling spots and filling up the album for now. It's time to add another quarter to our quarter album. Today's quarter is a 1958 silver quarter. This one is a slight bit circulated, but it does have a lot of good detail. Has some of that nice luster on it. This one is a Denver. Some nice original toning there. This will be a nice spot filled for our album. Let's put it in there and fill another spot. All right, we are all the way down at the bottom of the page here. And here we go. We're going to put that in. And there we have it. That is a 90% silver quarter. Looking good in the album. Got that luster and has some good details. Very nice coin for the album. It's silver time for quarter album. We have a pretty slick 1943 um, this one is out of San Francisco. Uh, once I get pa back past about 1955, I'm having a harder time getting the nice newer shiny ones without paying a hefty, hefty premium. And I want to fill the album, so we're going to pop in a slick silver. Hey, it is still 90% silver. And here we go. While not perfect, it will fill the spot. Um, you see... All the others here that uh, is probably the nicest oldest one I have here is the nice 1943 but we just put in this one 1943 s we'll get an upgrade for it at some point I don't know when but it's always nice to put a silver in your album and 
part of the fun is finding the upgrades for your album. It's time to add another silver quarter to our quarter album. And this one is a 1956 out of Denver. It is circulated, um, but it does have some little bit of details left. This one is out of Denver. There's the mint mark down there. 1956 out of Denver. Nice silver quarter to add to the album. Let's put it in there and enjoy another spot fill. And here we have another silver quarter going in the album. Not perfect, but it's hard to beat silver in your hand and in your albums. Nice, nice spot fill. Will be upgraded at some point, but until then, we're filling up the album and enjoying the process as we go. It's time to add another quarter to our quarter album. Today's quarter is a pretty nice 1996 out of Denver. Has a couple of surface layer scratches, but you know, it still has all that detail and it is still in pretty nice shape. I'm gonna toss this in and fill another spot in the album. Here we go. That's one more spot filled for the album. It's coming along nicely. We gotta get all these quarters in the album. So let's keep moving. Today's quarter, we're going all the way back to 1946 and we're gonna add a silver quarter to our album. Very cool. This one is from Denver. This will fill a spot and is another 90% silver quarter to go in the album. And here's the spot. Let's drop this quarter in. And there we have it. That is one more quarter filled in the album. It is rough, will be upgraded at some point. Today's quarter in our quarter album is a 1974. This one is a Philly. Um, it does have some dark uh, surfaces, some uh, dark toning uh, discoloration on the surfaces, but it does have some nice details on it still. We're gonna plop this in and fill another spot. Okay, here we go. Let's put that in the spot, and that is another quarter. Filling up, album's filling up nicely. Let's keep on moving. Today's quarter is another silver, and it is a 1940 out of Denver. This one is pretty, pretty slick and rough, but still counts as a silver quarter. You can't beat silver, except with more silver maybe, or gold. Here we are down at the bottom of the first page. Plop that in, and there we have it. That's another silver quarter in the album. Filling spots with real money. Today's quarter, we got a 1982 clad out of Denver. Uh, this one has a little detail in the hair, but it is well circulated. 1982, 1983, there were no mint sets, so it is harder to find the nicer coins in those years. But we're going to fill a spot with this one. This is the best one I have, and hopefully we get a nicer one at some point soon. Here we go, I'm putting this in right above this beautiful proof. There were proofs in 82 and 83, but not mint sets. So the business strike circulated coins are harder to find. We'll fill in a spot, so that's good. Today's quarter for the quarter album is a 1990. This one has some color on the surfaces. I uh, don't know if that's tone or that's discoloration, but it is in nice shape otherwise it's a 1990 out of denver whether they're not that is tone i kind of like how the back details just pop off of the coin either way this is going to fill the spot for now pretty decent shape so let's add this to the album okay there we have it that is another spot filled details are pretty good surface color could be better but that is another spot filled this quarter we have another slick silver coming to the album, 1948, out of Philly. This one has seen better days. Not as bad as some of the ones I've seen, but still pretty slick. It fills the spot for the album, so let's put it in. Okay, here we go. Boom, that is another silver quarter in the album. A very special edition for the quarter album today. I got a card from Indigon Demon in the mail this week and he sent me a quarter to go in our album. I will put a link to Indigon Demon's channel um, so do go check him out and tell him thank you. And we have a very beautiful 1936 
This is a high quality, high grade. This is going to be the best coin, the best early estate coin in the album. This one is a Philadelphia. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an upgrade. This is a very nice coin. Here's the old one, and here's the new one. That is definitely an upgrade. Let's switch it out. Okay, here we go. Boom. Look at that beautiful early date quarter in the album. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous coin. And the best looking earliest date coin in the album so far. Today's quarter. We're going to the 60s. Early days of clad. We have a 1968 out of Denver. This one is a little bit circulated here, but it is still in decent shape. This will fill another spot in the album. And there we have it. One more spot filled. Early date 60 clad. 1965 was the first year for clad. 64 was the last year for silver. And there we have a 68 filling spot. We will need to upgrade for that at some point. But until then, let's keep filling spots. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have another early date silver, 1937. This one is from San Francisco. Yeah, this one is rough, but it's still silver and it will fill the spot. So let's go ahead and add it in right now. Here we have it. This is the first 1937 going in the album. It is a little rough, but it will fill the spot. It's time for another quarter for a card album. We're going to the 80s today with this 1985 out of Denver. It is a little circulated, but it does have some pretty decent detail. Um, this will fill a spot until we get the uh, better one for it. So let's drop this in. Okay, here we go. Dropping a quarter in the album, filling the spot. Things are moving along nicely. Let's keep on plugging away. Our quarter for today is a 1950s silver quarter. This one is from San Francisco. This one is a little worse for wear, but we're going to drop another silver quarter in the album. The album is coming along nicely. Let's drop this in, and there we have another silver quarter added to our album. Okay, we are getting down to the last couple dozen of quarters I have on hand to put in my album and then I will have to definitely search for more. I'm, I'm looking for new quarters to go in here but uh, I gotta fill with what I have right now. Hopefully I'll have some new ones here. Let's put today's quarter in though. I got a 1981 out of Philly. This one is a little bit circulated but it's still pretty nice shape for a 1981. So let's add this to the album. Okay there we go. That is another spot being filled nice one more quarter for the album what's next for our album i have a 1940 silver quarter this one is a san francisco nice this one is circulated it is an old quarter 56 years old nice let's put this in and fill another spot here we have the spot down at the bottom of the first page getting a quarter in it's always great to put that quarter in the spot and I think it's even funner to upgrade that quarter when you get a better one. Nice spot fill with a silver quarter, and an upgrade will be coming for that at some point. But let's keep on plugging holes. Today's quarter is a 1993 out of Philly. It does have some slight circulation on it, but it is a pretty nice quarter overall. It has some really great details on the back. Maybe some very, very light circulation on it, but this will definitely fill the spot in the clad section of the album. And here we go. Plop that in. That is another spot filled. Oops, it's a little crooked. I will fix that later. But that is another quarter going in quarter album and not a bad one at that. Today's quarter, we're going back to 1946. Another pretty slick quarter. It has a little bit of a uh, tone on there, but nothing impressive. This one is uh, San Francisco. You can see the mint mark down here at the bottom. So we are going to put this in the 1946 San Francisco slot. Nice slick quarter, but it is silver. And silver is always better than no silver. Ooh, here we go. We're going to plug that in. And this page is starting to fill up. That is a 1946S silver quarter. Nice quarter for the album. Our album we're working on is the original 
Washington quarter design, 1932 to 1998. So today's quarter is a 1998, final date of the original Washington Eagle back design there. This one is pretty nice, has some little circulation wear on it, but this one will definitely fill a spot in the final date of the album. And here we are on the last page of the album. Last dated spot for the 98. So we have the 98 Philly, which could use an upgrade. It's pretty nice. Um, Denver, it's a little bit nicer. And we do have the proof, 98. We do need to find a silver proof, but that'll come later. 1998 Philly, final date of the album. The album's coming along nicely, getting it filled up. Okay, it is silver time for our album. 1952 another slick silver quarter this one is philly because there's no mint mark down here at the bottom so let's add this to the spot and fill another hole in the album here we go just gonna fill another spot i will be going to the coin shop at some point soon and i will be looking for nicer quarters especially the silver ones and hopefully we'll be able to find some upgrades but if not we're gonna fill all these spots with what I have. It's always nice to add a silver quarter to your quarter album. Even if it is slick, it's still silver and still holds its real value. Next quarter for our quarter album, we're going all the way to the last page. Got a 1997 out of Philly. This one has some dirt on it, unfortunately. I did find it in circulation, but it is pretty nice. It's the nicest 97 out of Philly I've come across so far. So we're gonna plug this in the album till we get a better one. Let's go ahead and toss it in. Okay, here we go. There are not a whole lot of spots left on this final page. This is the last clad going in on this page. Everything else is a proof. And all the rest, except for one, are the silver proofs. Do need one 1997 regular proof. And then one, two, three, four, five silver proofs to fill up this page. And I got some empty spots that I will fill up with something. I'll figure those out later. It's slick silver time. Going back to 1949 with a slick silver to add to the album. This one has a Denver mint mark on a reverse. So this is 1949 out of Denver. We're gonna plug another hole in the album. Here we go, final spot on this page. Well, the last spot on this page. We are filling up with a silver quarter. We have only three more empty spots on this page that I need to fill with some silver quarters. So nice, nice. This page is almost filled and then we will just have to work on the upgrades. Today, we are going to the 80s, 89 Philly circulated quarter. This one, the camera is picking up a lot more dings and scratches and reflecting a lot more of the surface imperfections than I can see with my eye. But this is still a decent quarter that I have found in circulation. Until I find a better one, we are going to add it to the album. Let's go ahead and plug it in now. And here we go. Drop that in the spot. And we have another hole filled for the album. Nice. The album's coming along. Gonna have to be doing some searching for some new quarters here soon. Next quarter for the album, we got a 1951 Silver quarter. This one has a little bit of detail left on it. Not quite as slick as some of the ones I've been putting in here lately. But it is still a silver quarter and it is from San Francisco. Nice. Let's fill that spot up with a silver quarter. One, two, three spots left on this page to fill. Let's go ahead and toss this one in here and fill the spot. Nice. This page is almost filled. Two more spots to go. It's always great putting that silver quarter in your album. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.